Welcome to our Energy Connect studio at Adipec 2022. I'm delighted to have sitting next to me, Lee Dan, Reservoir Project Manager, SLB. Thank you so much for coming down. Thanks, Julian. Happy to be here. Now, what does your title entail as Reservoir uh, Product Manager? I'd like to hear more about it. So I took the role in uh, October 2021. So it's almost a year now into the role. Yeah. The official title is the, the Product Manager, right? How I, how I look at it this is, is a close link between the, the customer needs in terms of technology mm -hmm. solutions to our research, engineering, and domain expertise, right? So I work very closely uh, with our uh, experts to yeah. deliver the technologies and solutions to help our customers to improve the performance and reduce the carbon footprint uh, in, the, in the same time uh, as well, right? So that's Absolutely. What I do. And obviously one of the big news is here at Adipec is, well, just the week before is Schlumberger is now SLV uh, on, you know, focus on the future of energy and the big push to get net zero by 2050. Where do your services and solutions you mentioned fit into this? Yeah. So obviously it's, it's a very exciting, uh, emotional moment for all us within the company. Yeah. We're moving from Schlumberger Lexi into the SLV, you know, the bolder, the brighter future, right? Yeah. I think we believe, right, our technologies, our solutions would have a key role to play in helping our industry to decarbonize mm -hmm. and reach that net zero goal, right, by 2050. So from my personal side and from my portfolio, I would uh, talk about this in twofold. Sure. You know? The first one, you might have heard from my colleagues are talking in the, uh, you know, about transition technology yeah. uh, portfolios. So transition technology is uh, is making visible of existing decarbonization technologies go through a very, very rigorous qualification process in terms of carbon footprint reduction, right? So once we classify those technologies with as transition technology, so we can actually using this technology now to help our customers okay. to decarbonize and most importantly quantify the carbon footprint we are reducing, right, to our customer operations. So under my portfolio, I have technology called Aura Deep Transient Testing, right? Okay. It's one of the key, I would say, anchor technology within the transition technology portfolio. And give you an example compared to conventional, sure. you know, the geo steam testing, it will reduce up to 96% of CO2 equivalent per operation. Okay. What that means, right, for, for all of us here is you're basically removing about up to 1,200 cars from the road annually. Mm -hmm which is huge, it's yeah. huge impact, right? The second side is about uh, carbon capture and carbon mm -hmm. abatement. From reservoir performance side, you know, through the measurement, through the subsurface excellence, we can really help our customer to de-risk both on the HSC side and overall project economics for the, for the carbon capture and sequestration projects, right? Few examples here, yeah. you know, we have technology to help our customer to really characterize your storage volume, i.e. how much volume you actually can store in your saline aquifer or in your depleted field. And yesterday, hope some of you heard about, you know, the in-steel geomechanical profiling. How can you maximize your injectivity, you know, while you're maintaining your cap rock integrity? Why that matters? Because yep. if you inject more volume, you can maintain that stable injection rate and you can fulfill your commitment you know, from the from this committed CO2 volume, and you drill less wells. You know, you make whole project more economics. Mm. And, uh, you know, moving forward, you know, it could be 50 years of projects, right? The monitoring and containment become super, super important. So we can have technology to make sure those projects are safe, uh, and give the public the confidence we need, right, to make those projects yeah. go ahead. So absolutely, I'm more excited. Oh. We have like, a lot of technologies Indeed. within our portfolios or within the reservoir performance really to contribute to our SLB ambition in terms of uh, reaching our 2050 net zero goals. Well, uh, that's a lot there, but also, yeah, I was going to bring you up on what was introduced yesterday and um, that must have been exciting to bring that new solution. Um, uh, is it only a CCS workflow or can you talk a bit more? I like it, Julian, when you mentioned about the solution. I think this is the key word, right? 
So we call it in-situ geomechanic yeah. profiling solution. It's really an end-to-end -end solution, right? It's integrating the digital, the state-of-art hardware, and our domain expertise, and really delivering that ground truth you need for our customers to give you that calibrated, accurate mechanical earth model to really maximize your injection while you're maintaining your cap rock integrity. Mm -hmm. So the whole workflow itself is starting, it will start with the intelligent planning, right? right? Through the planning capabilities we built, we can really optimize from the planning phase your hardware design, from the station, the point selection in your different cap rocks in different reservoirs, and really maximize your chance of success in getting that measurement. While you're moving forward with the, with the execution, we call it intelligent execution. Mm -hmm. So while we're, while we're collecting those data points, in the real time, we can feed back to the planning and prediction we have been doing and continuously update that workflow. So at the end of the, at the, end of the operation, while our tools are pulling out the hole, you already have a product ready to deliver to our customers that they can use for their injection operations Mm. In, in, which is coming right after that, right? And so because this is end-to-end -end workflow support by digital, you really maximize your chance of getting those measurements correctly, but importantly in a much lesser time compared to conventional you know, techniques. Yeah. So absolutely, oh. I mean, personally, I'm very close to this technology okay. from when I was in the field, now in the product Brilliant. development. I truly believe it would make impact in our customers in CCS project, that's how we presented yep. yesterday. But importantly, I think uh, a lot of us might know or might not know, in conventional core oil and gas, it will support, you know, give you exa some examples here. Um, we can really optimize the drilling mud window to really mitigate some of the drilling issues we have, right? Yep. To improve your drilling efficiency. And also, you know, in the depleted field, you can, you know, you can monitoring the, the subsidence, uh, compactions, all those problems. It's not a problem we want to have, but it's a problem we, we need Indeed. to address in, yeah. in, the, in the long term. So no, it is, it is a very great, I would say, CCS solution, but no, absolutely, they would support us in, in terms of, uh, you know, conventional core oil and gas as well. Well, that's good to hear. And, uh, you know, I've had your colleagues down at the studio talk to, you know, quite a bit about digital workflows and the power of digital um, in your division, but how is digital enablement transforming your portfolio? So in, in reservoir performance evaluations, digital, what is digital? Is about leveraging data. Leveraging the data you have on hand, you contextualize, and con using like, the data you are collecting in real time, and attract, extract actionable insight, and mm. enable that decision, make, decision making in that operational time frame, but also very important link to the reservoir scale as well, right? So we, we talked about, you know, yesterday about, uh, just now about institute geomechanical profiling, you see the example of how you leveraging yeah. digital to really improve your efficiency, but also, you know, bring that timeline from before in the matter of months into a matter of days, right? That is the magic yeah. of yeah. digital, and that's our ambition for reservoir performance valuations. And I have some, other exciting digital capability we're working on, I just gave a teaser here, a hint, right? We okay. call it <laughs> infrastructure-led expressions. It's about leveraging the digital capabilities we're building and our aura deep transit testing analysis really help our customers to de-risk your geological scenarios and do that, you know, I'm, I'm saying it again, from before months to today, days to weeks. And what that means? We can actually reduce the time to production yeah. and accelerate time to first oil and to first gas, right? So now stay tuned. A lot of exciting digital capability coming. Great. We'll, share we'll, more. We'll, we'll stay tuned for that. And uh, just before we end, I mean, thanks for giving an insight into all your exciting portfolio. Um, just want to have more personal questions. What have you learned over your career and your time? So this is, I just spent 16 years in uh, Schlumberger and this is my first week in SLB. Right. And this is, uh, it's been a great journey. I mean, uh, on personal front, I've been to more than like 20 plus countries in the past so many years for work related activities. And the good thing about this company is, is a continuous, I would say, challenge. And then you learn, you grow, you get comfortable, then you move to something else, right? In different countries, different business, different function, different disciplines. So I would say, if you want a career of continuous growth, without limit, 
bodily careers, this is company we should be. The second, you know, as uh, I would say, this next decade, this decade from now until 2030, is it's a super critical stage for yeah. our industry, for our hum humanity, for our society, right? I know we, as oil and gas industry, we know we are having trouble attracting talents, but I would say that be part of the solution, you know? If you want to, you know, this decade is one and where you can make a difference for your future, for the kids, for the yeah. future of your kids, the future of humanity. So come and join us and make a difference and be part of the solution. Well, that, I totally agree. And Li Dan, I really appreciate you taking time out and time yeah. at Adipet to come speak to me. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Julian. It's very happy to be here. Hopefully we'll chat again in the future. Absolutely. Thanks All a right. lot. Bye.